I would say uh, it's changed in two ways. First, to stick to uh, public speaking, uh, the uh, age of uh, eloquence uh, has disappeared. We now have a president who barely knows the language. We have speeches from political candidates and leaders which are pedestrian at best. They are not inspirational. They have very few n new substantive ideas. Some are substantive and not new. Some are new but not substantive. So um, it's too bad and I think television gets part of the blame. Television is supposedly the cool medium. It uh, comes into the living room, the bedroom, for people to sound like John F. Kennedy today would seem old-fashioned and uh, now it's such an informal, casual uh, era in the way we talk, the way we dress, the way we communicate with each other. There are almost no standards and there are some, of course, but our leaders are not uh, held to them. So in terms of eloquence, uh, a lot has changed. Secondly, in terms of relations between the parties, a lot has changed. John F. Kennedy is the man who, when he refused to support the nominee of his own party for governor in his home state of Massachusetts, said, sometimes party asks too much. Well, today party seems to ask everything of everybody. And the candidates are, even on the Senate floor, have forgotten what comedy, and not comedy, there's a little of that going on unintentionally, but comedy, meaning relations of respect and looking for reasons to agree with others and find harmony with others, that kind of comedy has disappeared. And it's all too rare that. Uh, debate between members of opposition parties uh, find uh, common ground for the interest of all the American people. That prevailed under Kennedy's leadership. It's all too rare today, except in the speeches of uh, Senator Obama. That's a very, very uh, good question and uh, probably uh, social psychologists would have to uh, answer it. Uh, in the uh, Congress, uh, the uh, language of comedy disappeared when uh, Mr. Gingrich became uh, the speaker. And he was, uh, he was so fiercely partisan that he engaged in name-calling of uh, Democrats and ideas voiced by Democrats that it could only be considered vituperation. It certainly could not be considered uh, reasonable debate of the kinds that uh, I witnessed uh, back in the days when I was a young assistant to the United States Senator from Massachusetts. And the, uh, the uh, proliferation of media, we now have uh, news cycles uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we have not only the major n television networks, but we have uh, dozens if not uh, hundreds of uh, cable uh, networks, and we have as well the uh, internet, which we are now using and all of the uh, bloggers all competing for the attention of people and to be heard over that din people find it uh, or think it's necessary to uh, shout to use more extreme words and phrases more absurd and ridiculous uh, demands and uh, proposals that's very unfortunate. Well, sad to say, maybe the uh, three assassinations in the 1960s 
of John Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, all three of whom made beautiful, memorable, eloquent speeches in the course of public debate. You can't lose three people like that and expect uh, the world to go on as it was before. Sometimes uh, an individual makes a difference and for three of them to be taken savagely that way, I think wounded the, uh, the American psyche. The worst I've heard recently was uh, Bill Clinton, who knows better. He's an intelligent man. For him, after his uh, wife uh, lost in South Carolina to Senator Obama, for him to say, well, Jesse Jackson won in South Carolina, that meant nothing. That was Mr. Clinton's devious way of making people think that Barack Obama is another Jesse Jackson when that is not even remotely true. And Mr. Clinton knows it's not remotely true. He knows that Jesse Jackson was never a serious national candidate. And he certainly knows by now that Barack Obama is a serious national candidate. So why can't uh, Mr. Clinton go back to some of the ideals that characterized him when he was first running for the presidency in 1992 and uh, stop this trash talk.